Hello everybody, I'm Andre with another episode of the AF Podcast and my microphone is all messed up, so that's good. Uh, coming on with me is is Daniel. All on my lonesome, it's Daniel here everybody. How you doing? Clap, clap, clap. Oh clap yeah, me. yeah, yeah, welcome here man. How's it feel to be back on the, the podcasting episode of, of me? It's been long overdue and I'm just glad to get back and get straight back into it. Yes, because this is the most like, you can put this on your resume dude. Yeah. Like I've been on the AF Podcast, you know? And then they Google the yeah. AF podcast, and, and then and they. I, then, don't, I don't get the job. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the best way. If you don't want to get hired, be on the podcast because then they'll look at all the videos and shit that I say. That'd be bad. Um, so uh, you're on the uh, first episode back when we just got back here, like with the studio and everything, because there was a break, like good hiatus for some reason. Don't know why. E. coli outbreak. <laughs> the E. coli outbreak. <laughs> and no one was allowed back here, but. Um, uh, so uh, you were on here when we talked about the first episode about date questions, questions to ask on a date. Now we are lazy and now we're doing the exact same thing again, but part two, because we don't have any content, actual substance. We're just stealing shit off the internet. Yes. So second date question number one, let's get straight into it. We're going it, huh? straight into it, dude. No, no holding back. Go straight into it. Like yeah. we just go straight into it, dude. Like we're jumping off the building. <laughs> Without no parachute, dude. Like, come on. I want, to, I want to get the thrill of jumping off a building. But anyways, continue on, Danny. Parachute for what? All right. <laughs> parachute which, are for pussies. Which members of your family are you closest to? Ooh. Which members? See, now we're going to be playing favorites. Unless you got, like, a uh, uh, like a divorced. But like, oh, I'm not close to my mom because my mom tried to beat me. And now we're divorced, <laughs> you know? So, um, I guess everybody. It's not like I'm, like, excluding anybody. Like, but then you get to broken homes, and they're like, yeah, I'm not close to my dad, but, you know, I'm not one of them peeps. So, yeah, yeah. unless you uh, blackmail from, are you broken home or what? Uh, hmm. Oh, no, we're going to get personal. Oh, it, shit, am I right? I guess I guess you could say it's a broken home. It wasn't really ever together, really. Oh, my, shit. Mo- my mom and dad, they just kind of dated in a sense. They weren't really married. They did live together for a while, and then they separated. But it wasn't messy, you know. They're still cool and whatever. They're so cool and whatever, but yeah. they never got married. They they were never married. He was just you know smashing him. and passing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then I'll, I'll came Daniel. Yeah, bring yeah. forth Daniel. Damn, I feel bad now because I'm like, oh, he's got he's got a black family all messed up. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> well, at least I know who my dad is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck them kids who don't know the dads. Ooh, ooh, oh, okay. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Anyways, uh, second ep- Let's go to the second question. Question number two. What made you decide to move here, or what has kept you here? Uh, I've been, been here against my will. I've had a gun to my head the whole entire time. Um, I was in Texas. I was born there and stuff like that. And then my dad got a job here. So, like, come over here. And it wasn't, like, like a better job. It was, like, a way better job than what he was. So, he moved over here. And now we're here in the Florida. You know who else is from Texas? Who? Liza Koshy. Ah, that stupid um, YouTuber. Oh, dear. That I have never seen a video, but I just hate the person. I hate most YouTubers. You know why? I was like, what's up, everybody? Today, we'll talk about life. But before we begin, make sure to go, like he'll, and subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> make sure to turn that like button like Hiroshima, okay? Destroy it. Nuke it. You know? <laughs> make it have uh, something. But, um, yeah, that's, I'm, that's why I have a problem with most YouTubers. Anyway, that was, a, that was an additional information. But continuing on, sir. All right. Why are you here in Florida? What did you do? Well, who did you get a? Are you wanted? Are you just hiding in Florida? Well, um, I'd like to say that Florida is the closest territory to Haiti. Oh. And yeah, and just go there, bro. Stop trying to be so close to it. <laughs> no, it's not because I want to be there. It's because my parents wanted to be here, and this is where they came to. So they can be closer. This is where they've been ever since. <clears throat> Next question. I'm ready for it, bro. Let's go at it. What was the most recent re- recent relationship you were in? I'm um, gonna have to pass on that one just because you know <laughs> don't want to get into that one. Ah. I doubt you want or you want to get into. Your... I'll get into it. Yes, I'll get. Into oh it. shit! <laughs> okay, I'm taking a pass on that one. Um, you can get a pass on one, okay? Because I don't want to talk about that one right now. <laughs> right. Right now, at least, maybe some other day when I'm like really out of my mind. I'm like, let's talk about this chick, you know. But anyways, <laughs> continue on. You talk about yours. The most recent relationship. Now I seem like a had. pussy. Oh dear. I don't seem like a t- I'm <laughs> pussy because I'm not talking about it. But I really, this is 
it's gonna have to be a simple normal podcast so it's gonna be 40 minutes long because i have to explain everything but continue on sir no no 40 minutes long all right <laughs> the most recent relationship i was in was this girl we're still, we're still a, really a guy cool. or a girl Girl. Said girl. <laughs> okay, I'm like, okay, Daniel. Okay, Daniel. You know, <laughs> so my relationship was. Uh, we started date. Okay, so how we met. We met. Get it the most. A, get it abbreviated, dude. I don't know who wants to hear all your shit. So get it. You're gonna hear all of my crap. All right. All, right. <laughs> all of my crap. Oh, this boy is not, not strong enough. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't really curse. But anyways. Um, yeah, he doesn't say. Sh- we started dating in 2015. Took a break and. Uh, 2016 got back together and we recently broke up uh it wasn't really like a mess messy thing you know it was just you know some time off i guess but it's she, like a, it was like a pto paid time yeah, vacation yeah. she, she kind of wants me back but i'm just kind of like yeet you're taking, a, you're taking a break for a little while you know uh i guess this is a question that uh, a lot of people deal with not really deal with but like a question for like long term like i hear people talking about oh you've been dating for like five years i'm like how do you keep it all like happy, happy, and all that time? Uh, it's never gonna be happy, happy. All I the I time. agree, I agree, but I'm just saying like I'm not okay. I know the answer, but I want to. I'm just playing it like, hi, I can't get into relationship for a long term. <laughs> how do you do it, young one, young young black uh, one? Basically, how I did it was I didn't like <laughs> lie, <laughs> lie. I didn't like anger or frustration make up any of my decisions because like one. I didn't let any emotions make up my decisions because if I'm mad at you one day and then I break up with you the next day, I'm in a better mood. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, you know. So, like, whenever I'm mad, I just, like, hold my tongue, you know. I don't I don't I don't like to stir up drama. You don't unleash the beast. I don't unleash the only you you only unleash the beast beast in the bed. Anyways. (laughs) (laughs) Got you, son. Got him. (laughs) All right. Question four. What was the longest relationship you've ever had? Uh, I'm also gonna have to pass on that one, <laughs> but it was a very long time. So, uh, uh, oh, oh dear, oh my, yes, it's like it's like a it's like a it's like a season, like a like Game of Thrones, just keeps going, doesn't stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was on and off for like five years with one person at one point. Uh, everything about just killing them. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right. Okay. <laughs> what are your feelings on marriage and kids? Marriage and kids, I think it's absolutely pivotal to have kids. Because I always think about it like this. You had all the people, your ancestors coming forth generation after generation. You're like, you know, I'm just not going to nut, you know, and not have kids. What you, what's wrong with you, bro? And kids are amazing. And it will change somebody. I think, what was it? I think who, I don't know who said it. But as soon as a, a man witnesses their child being born, they're no, they, they've completely changed their life. I think that's what it is. But yes, marriage and kids are a necessi- necess- necessity. necessity. I can't say it. What do you, sir? What say 100% you? 100% definitely agree. Disagree with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just, I just want to dis- disagree. Let's have a fight. I plan on marrying and having a whole bunch of kids because, you know, the more you have, the more, the more probability that a good one will come out. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Just start whipping them. I was the good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's where my mom stopped. All right. <laughs> Question six. What made you decide to go on a second date with me? <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to go on a second date with me? Well, why would I have, let's put it in our terms, but not dating. Why would I have you on the, on the show? Well, because you did a good job on oh, the show with Issa are. and the other one. On the, so so. one. Yeah, one person didn't make it, Issa, you know. Yeah, because so. Issa just died, so. Anyways, continuing on. Totally, she's not in the next room hearing all this. <laughs> <laughs> um, if a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, your future, or anything else, what would you want to know? I, you know, a lot of one thing, one thing that, the one thing that, the one thing that I would want to know, and everyone wants to know, how do you die? Like, that's like, no, that's like the worst thing ever. It's like, you're going to die, blah, blah, blah. The one thing I want to know is, is like, how, if I'm going to be happy or not with my life. That's the thing. Because, like, for example, if I know that I am going to get a filmmaking job and it's going to be great, then I don't have to worry about a single thing. If I know that's going to happen, you know, 
So, or other things like if I know I'm going to get married or something like that, like I don't have to worry about this little relationship that's got broken up, or whatever. You can, you know, what's going to happen. So, that's the thing. So, what is one thing you want to know in your crystal ball? Not how do I die, but when do I die? Yeah, when do you die? When? Because if I know how do I die, I'll try to, I'll okay. try so hard to avoid it, you know, mm-hmm. avoid, like if, I, if it says I'm going to die by getting hit by a bus, I'm never going to go on the roads again. Yeah. But if I know when I die, I can accomplish these things before my due date, you know? Okay, now I change my answer. Uh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a pretty good, 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 good shit, fam. I keep looking at my nail because I broke it when I was setting up the camera and stuff. Like it's like it. I got. I took this. Like here we go. You see this? And I went all the way back for a quick second. Went. And uh, that hurt a lot. Uh, all for setting up this stupid camera. That is really good quality. Anyways, continuing on. Before making a. Oh, hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Is there, do I look like dateable now with all these answers? Like, what, would you would you smash me? Um, I unfortunately have to pass. Ah, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll probably I'm probably have to pass on you as well because oh. I'm not um, into men. So oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that of course. Of course, of course. But, but yes, the <laughs> answers seem very great until the part about the family. I'm like, oh wait, broken family. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question, sir. To to, to continue our date. Before making a phone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say and why? Not if I'm ordering pizza or some shit like that. But if I'm about to call somebody and tell them that, uh, uh, I guess the one that I actually did is when I was when I was quitting my job. I rehearsed it a little bit. Oh, you had a job? I had a job at one point, and I was like, I hate this place. I'm not getting paid enough. And I and I rehearsed how I was going to quit. I'm like, sir, I don't like you. And I hang up. I thought about being savage, but I was very polite. <laughs> I think in my mind, I'm like. I'm tired of this job. You know what? Screw you. Screw everybody. But anyway, I'm like, hey, I'm not feeling so good about this. <laughs> you know, that's how I did it. But I always thought I'd be savage, but nah. Uh, sometimes I'm, when I'm about to get up on, like, if I have a question to ask, I'll be like, I'll think it over multiple times. Like, Is that the proper way to present this question? You know, you know, like just other times it's just, you know, what's up? Yeah. With, <laughs> yeah. With my friends, I'm like, yo, what's up? Are you doing dog? But I don't. Yeah, that's that. Sometimes I just call them for no reason. So there's nothing to rehearse. Nothing at all. <laughs> You get nothing. <laughs> Question nine. What's something you're terrible at? Oh, for sure. Dancing. If I put that one, I'm not even good at dancing. Mm. You're never going to see me dance at all. I did dance one time for a video and I fell. Huh. But it was also part of the joke. So, uh, I, uh, I'd say that I dance a lot, you know, that. So uh, it's yeah, funny, of course, it's funny that of happens. course. I, <laughs> no. not, it's not, like I could be at my job and then the next thing you know, like you hear, um, one of Taylor Swift songs or something comes out, and you just you know I just I just jam out, you know. I might as I as I said I can dance, but it's not good in your way. It's my in my in my mind it's good. Yeah, in, in my mind I'm freaking killing it, you know. Yeah, you got all yeah yes yes all yeah. of that. I can't do any of that. I don't know any of those dance moves. Yeah, yeah. I'm so I'm not good at today. dancing for sure. Don't see um, me. Except if it's like slow dancing, like just like like uh, uh, <laughs> he moves to like two steps right. That's it. <laughs> Something I'm you know what annoys them? me? Oh, Why is it that every single time there is a, a a dance party, they always play that one song, the uh, to the left, to the right. And I've been hearing it all my life. Just stop that. We don't need to hear it. <laughs> it's just like you don't need to keep playing that one exact song. Like, the fuck, dude? Huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. Quite simply. The fuck? i tell you something I'm terrible at is... Sometimes my pronunciation. I'm like bad with talking. Like language is not my number one. Uh, I I struggle with that too sometimes. <sighs> when I'm talking a lot and I'm talking fast, I'm like hey, he's gonna. I just lose yeah. myself. I sound like a German. Next <laughs> noch <laughs> weg. Nein. <laughs> Question ten: Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or one hundred duck-sized horses? One horse-sized duck. Or uh, I'll take the big boy on. I just go on him and just break his necks. I've always thought about. You ever had like really, really bad like thoughts in you? That's probably gonna yes. send me to the mental hospital. <laughs> but like, I've always thought about like there's a person sitting right there. I'm like, what happens if I just start beating, punching his face yes. and never stop? Yes. But not like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, Daniel. Uh, but I just thought about it. Like sometimes I'd be like, what happens if I would just get up and walk out or push this person? You know. I think that all. I've also thought about like maybe what if I would have just like trip this person like this person's why I'm like maybe I should just take my foot and trip them, you know. But I never do it. I think the mental people are the ones that do it. I think everybody has those thoughts, but the mental people are actually the one to act on it.
think the most frequent thoughts I have is like, you know, I'm going 60 down and I'm like, what if I just open this door and, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I get so scared. I have to lock the door to be sure I don't, <laughs> don't do go on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think we all have those weird thoughts. I would definitely fight a horse sized duck because if a hundred duck sized horses, just a hundred little legs, just, you know, like kicking me, they can overpower you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shook the whole table when you did that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well. you ruined the whole entire production. <laughs> what does friendship mean to you? Uh, give me free stuff. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, friendship is good when you can tell them anything and they will listen. Definitely. I and act friend, on it. That could, the friend that listens. To yes, the friend that listens. Yes. And uh, the friend that who's just like, okay, whatever, bro, and hangs out. All right, anyways, that's that. I mean, we can go on and Definitely on about friendship. Definitely Miles is that friend. Miles is that friend for you? Miles is that Yes. Well, you know, well, not necessarily. <laughs> we're not really like that, like that, but like he's definitely that friend. Like he, he I've, I've, chill with him, but I you, like a lot of people, a lot of people. So now we're two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. What are we in kindergarten? First day of school. <laughs> uh, uh, two truths and a lie. Um, you go first, sir. <laughs> Let's think about it. Uh, okay. I've never had Chipotle. Uh, I have over 13 siblings. And. Intense. Uh, Intense. And. I'm a senior. Fuck. I'm going to say you never had Chipotle. I've never had Chipotle. You never had? Okay. Wait, was I guessing the lie? Wait. I was guessing the lie, right? Wait. Two truths. Oh, I, I did that wrong. I was supposed to say I've had Chipotle. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Dude. Okay, wow, great. I messed it up, but I've I've never had Chipotle. That's okay, why would you question. say lies about us? Or okay, let me try it. Um I um let me see myself. I did one before, but um been in a rock band. Not the game, actual. I've been in a rock band. I've slapped the girl. And, uh. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, I, fuck it. All right, anyways. Uh. Let me just put an interesting lie. I, uh. I've never eaten pie. Never eaten pie in my life. You just said, let me just put an interesting lie. No, 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 no. I'm a ch- an interesting fuck. I just fucked this all up, bro. This is why I can we never were, make we it. We weren't ready for this. Obviously, okay, I yeah. messed it up. You messed it up. The question. Yeah, it's, it's, this is one you have to think about. Like, <laughs> shit. All right. I hate thinking. All right. <clears throat> Let's just move on. <laughs> move on. Move on from this If one. you could give your middle school self one piece of advice, what would it be? Uh, Don't fucking fuck anybody. <laughs> middle school people, don't fuck. Or is he talking to me or or yourself? <laughs> oh, myself. Oh, yeah, the same thing. Don't be fucking any girls. Anyways, continuing on. Definitely. Don't be a fuckboy. True to who I am. Be true you are. Don't act like a act like who you don't act. Cause I'm definitely white on the inside, and in middle school I was, you know, I was all. You trying to be all black, like to that. yeah, 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 yeah. This up, dog, yo. Like Let I, me in. Would you? I, you, I, you I have to do a cross with it. All right. Uh, did you ever uh, sag your pants a lot? Like, did no, you ever... no, I didn't do that actually. Why you weren't? I sure? still dressed like a white boy though, but I was my person. I felt I was just. I imagine you. Boy. You're that one guy that does this in the one meme where he's like standing like this on the sidewalk, and like, like you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, that one meme. Ah, screw it. I'll show you later. But uh, let's get to two more questions, and then we'll we'll wrap it up here. How long do you usually like to wait before kissing someone? How long do I like to wait? Uh, it depends if it's... Okay, I don't understand. Like, What does it mean by that? Like, wait as in, like, how long before it's acceptable? Or how long, like, we're how both talking... do you usually wait? It doesn't make it... doesn't give me any specifics. Like, are we, like, we're both standing right here? And then, like, we're all close to each other? And then we're just, like... No. We're just looking at each other, like we're about to go, and they're like, "Nope, I have to wait this long, <laughs> this many percent, this many time." Um, uh, all right. I don't know what to, to say to that one. I hmm. go ahead. Can I in the car? Yes, give it to Daniel. Oh, yeah, Daniel. oh thank you. 
Anyway, surprise cameo from Issa Alvarez. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I usually wait until they're comfortable. So they're comfortable? Um, because until I like, I see the like relaxed and comfortable because I'm always comfortable. Like I'll kiss you all right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right, we're here, and we totally didn't have technical difficulties right now. Anyways, Daniel, what did you learn on today's episode? Um, well, hmm. a lot of things. We both learned. Yeah. I learned a lot of things about you and relationship and where you're from and that your family's messed up. So. <laughs> oh, I, I want to say that. No, we're pretty good. All pretty right, good. But, um, people what? actually prepare for second. Yes, 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 yes. And what what did what what did what did you learn today about me? Wait, did I I learned a lot about you, but what did you learn about me? Uh, you still live in Texas. Yes. Like Liza. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. That is it, everybody. This is ended. This, this is no. It ends right now. Ending right now. Right now. Starting now. Starting now. Starting starting now. Okay. We're done.